Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering the Elementor Pro Testimonial Carousel. So let's dive in. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say, if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up for yourself. And if you want to get it and support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. So I'm going to be using this mock website here. This is an Astra starter site for an organic store. And I'm just going to scroll down here and get started by adding in the testimonial carousel widget. So let's just hit the plus icon. And I'm going to then go over here and just simply type in testimonial. And I'll drag the widget over here right into the area here. So we have this default testimonial carousel in here now. So what we can see over here is that we have item one, which is going to be this slide, item two, and then item three down here. So each of these, you can go and easily change the content on here. So if you wanted to write something in or just paste in a testimonial that you got, this is where you would do that. So I'm just going to put, they have awesome produce because it is for an organic store. And then I'm actually just going to paste that into the next two as well. So down here they have, I'll just put great produce instead. And here I'll put, they have wonderful produce. So at least we can see there's a little bit difference between each one that's in here. I actually might paste this a few times just to show you what it's going to look like when you have longer ones in here. So you might notice right here, you also have the option to add an image. By default, it has this placeholder here. So if I were to just choose an image that's already in this media library, let's just say I add this one, insert it in, and now I have this image in here. I'm also going to add some images for the other ones just so we can differentiate them as we're going through this tutorial. So I'm going to add another image here and add this guy in over here. So now we have three different slides with different images on them, different text as well. So from here, you have the option to change the skin. By default, it does not have a bubble around it, but if you click bubble, it's going to add this gray text block around this area that the actual quote is in for the testimonial. It's totally up to you if you wanna have that or not. I'm gonna go with the default in my case, but it is an option. So the layout here, you can change where the image is in reference to where the text is. So let's just say we go to image stacked right here. You can see now it's down here above where it says his title rather than to the side of where it says the title. So if we want image above, you can have it above like that. There is the left and the right option as well. I'm going to go with image either above or I'm going to go with stacked. I like each of these. I'm going to go with stacked, I guess, in this one. So here you can change how the slides per view is set up. So right here, it by default is set to one. So you're only seeing one slide at a time, but if you wanted to, you can make it two. So you can see two different testimonials at once or three. I don't think I would go more than three on a desktop and you can change that based on each device. So if you wanted to add three for the desktop, but maybe you only have one on the tablet and then you also have one on the phone, I think that would be a good way to go. Again, I wouldn't do more than two or three on the desktop at a time. So you can see what it looks like with the different text here. I'm actually going to reduce this so it does look a little better, but I want you to see what it would look like when you have three of them aligned here in one area. So let's just go and get rid of these three so it looks a little bit better, a little more even in this case. And from here, we can also go down and change the width. So if we adjust this, you can see how the spacing is between each of the testimonials. It's totally up to you on how you want to do this. I'm going to put it as 80 in this case since there's not a whole lot of text here. So we can go down here to additional options and in this area we can change things like our arrows and how the transition and autoplay is set up. So if you want to adjust things like the transition time, this would mean it is half of a second. So 500 milliseconds, this would be five seconds in the autoplay speed. So it's just something to be aware of and you can also change it if you don't want it to be a constant loop. You could take that off and it's just going to be stagnant with these three right here. Or you can go and change it so it's a constant loop. So it's just getting the attention of people that want to see. And if you do have more than three, let's say you have six, you would want it to cycle through all six. So it makes sense to do it that way. 
You can also have it set up where it's paused on hover. So if someone goes to hover over it, maybe they want to click on the image or just read what it says, it will pause that by default. I think that's a great thing to have. And you can choose to resize the images. I like to leave it as full here, but you can change that if needed. We can also change that within a style section over here. So if we go to style right here, it says space between, and we can change the space between each of these. You can see it adjust a little bit, but we really already adjusted it quite a bit on the last content area. You can also adjust that here. You can add a background color. So let's just say you want to add a background color. It's only going to go around the actual quotes here. If you want to change it for the whole section, this intersection, you would go and right click right here, edit column, and then you would change the style classic color right here, and you would change the whole color for the area. So that is an option as well. If you were to right click back in here, edit testimonial carousel, you can go and change it, the color that's the background behind it. So it makes it look a little bit different. You could do that and edit it as needed and make it your own. I'm just doing this as an example here so you can see what it would look like. So once you're happy with that, you can also change the border radius. Now we have a squared border around here. If you wanted to, you can go and change that. And as you drag it, it becomes more circle or oval on the edges here. You can see the difference as we go. So if you wanted to do something like 20, I think it looks fine. It's up to you again if you want to have it look like this. So here is a border color. If you want to add one, you can do that here. I'm actually not going to add one in this case. And then you can have padding as well. So let's just say you wanted to use the same values linked together. We want to add 20 padding. That is how you would do that. You can add more or less if you want. You can see the effect once you add more. I'm just going to go with 20 here just so we have a little padding on it. And that is how it would look. So down here in the content section, you can change things like the gap size. So if we were to adjust that, you can see that it gets further away from the image when you do that. So I actually don't think this needs much gap because there's really not a whole lot of content in this example to begin with, but it's up to you if you want to change that. The text color you can also change. I'm going to go and make it darker, a black color right here, so it's a little bit easier to read. And you can also change things like typography right here. So if you wanted to, you can go and explore through here and find something you like. Let's just go with Leto in this example and change it. So now you can read it pretty easily right here. So you can also do the same thing with the name and change the color text and the title as well. I'm going to leave those as is, but you could easily change them. Now if we go down to image here, we can resize the image. So right now the image is kind of small. We can resize the image here if we want and make it larger or smaller. I think it really depends on how much text is there because it will look weird if you have this huge image like this when the text is so small. So I would do something around like 50 in this case. I think it looks fine, but you can adjust that as needed as well as the gap in here too. So again, the gap is going to be in this case, how far it is the image away from the title and the person's name. I'm going to do 10. I think that looks fine. These are probably very close to what the defaults are to begin with. And if you want to add a border radius, you can do that as well. And you can change how it looks around the image itself. So it's up to you. I'm going to go with square here. I think it looks a little bit cooler. And then down here with navigation, the last thing that we can really change here, we can change the size of arrows. So if you want to make them bigger or smaller, you can do that. Let's go with like 35 or something like that. I think that looks fine. You can change the color as well. I'm going to make them a little more white in this case. And if you wanted to, you could do the same thing with the pagination right here as well. So that is how you would change those options. I hope this showed you the basics of how to use this testimonial carousel. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.